Hey everyone, Rebe Walker with Urban Notes and we are at the Carver Center to give you a sneak peek into the new play by Bobby McMorris. It's called A Perfect Size Lie. Can't wait to speak to the crew to see what they have to say about their, their experience at this rehearsal and also the play writer Bobby McMorris. Stay tuned to what's happening this weekend and remember you're watching Urban Notes. We're back everybody and we're here with the play writer himself, Bobby McMorris. Play writer for A Perfect Lie. So Bobby McMorris, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. Now we know you put in some hours to, you know, have this play, create this play, produce this play, write the play. So tell us a little bit about the storyline of this particular play. Well, A Perfect Size Lie uh, is my 11th stage play. So this one here, what we're trying to do, we're trying to present a story, a unique story about um, a bo uh, bridal boutique owner, um, Ruth, which is played by Pastor Angelique Monterio. She, uh, her business is struggling, and her son doesn't know that because she's promised to do the alterations for his marriage. But the plot uh, thickens once when the son finds out and he positions his fiance to apply the money for the wedding expenses to save his mom boutique. So now he's in a battle of trying to save his his uh, mom's boutique and the wedding. So okay. Story. Okay, got you. It sounds like a great play. We can't wait to see it. So tell us a little bit about what inspired you to write this particular play because I know you've written other plays. So what gave you this inspiration? Well, I always when I write, you know, I try to use a lot of symbolism in my writing. So I, I've kind of always had a thing about, you know, boutiques and, and shopping. The idea, you know, came from, you know, when, you, when you're shopping and, and you, you know, you see something that you like and you try it on, but it might not fit, whether it be too small, too tight, too big, but you still buy it. Most people thinking that you can change it. Well, people do that with relationships. Sometimes you try on, you know, or try to make someone fit into your life that may not be that right person. So I try to create a story uniquely, you know, tied it with clothing in a boutique. So that was them that one. Okay. So tell everybody when this play will be um, available to see this weekend. And this play will be here at the Carver. Uh, that's October 5th and 6th, this Saturday and Sunday. The Saturday show is at 7.30 and the Sunday show will be at 5 p.m. And you can um, find out information about it at my website, bybitmorris.com. Um, the ticket prices range from 12 to $25. You can try to make it affordable for the family to come out. Okay, awesome. Was well, this just local in San Antonio, or will you be touring at some point? That's a good question. Um, my plans are to tour this um, play on the road. I'm looking into Dallas and Houston, and then beyond that after that. Okay, great. Well, thank you for talking with us. It's that. a privilege to be with you thank here. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. So we thank you for watching the show and stay tuned for more. Don't miss out. We have more to come. Urban Notes, Reby Walker. Hey everyone, we are here behind the stage with the crew members of A Perfect Size Live. So everybody introduce yourself and tell everybody what your role is. I am Trey Nation. Uh, I play the role of Joe. You know, he's uh, he's... Just wants, he's a nice guy. Wants everybody to get along. In love with uh, Val, who's a brat, and he just doesn't see it because love is blind. No. Okay, great. I'm Skidar Jones. I play the character of Charles, and I'm also uh, the writer of the songs for the play and the vocal arranger. Hello. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm Jeff. I'm Chuck. That's all I got for you. <laughs> I'm Siobhan. I'm the perfect size girlfriend. No, fiance. I am the bratty one. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sharon. I play Patricia. She's very nosy and she want to keep her job. My name is Mark Anthony Hall and I'm playing Bo Weathers and I'm the husband hopeful of Ruth here. Hi, and I'm Angelique Monterio. I play Ruth. I own the boutique and I'm struggling uh, and I'm wanting things to work out and I'm a woman of faith so I'm constantly praying and asking God to make a way out of no way. Awesome. Okay, so does everybody, how long have y'all been working together? Is this your first time working on a particular play or does, is this the first time y'all met or y'all have, you know, toured on? I've done a couple of shows with, uh, with Bobby. I think that I've done the most after that would be uh, either co-pastor Angelique or Trey. And this is uh, Mr. Hall's first time actually doing something with uh, Be More Holy Productions. But the rest of us, we kind of like old heads. We've done a couple of shows with it before. Yeah. Okay. So do you coordinate? Yeah. Okay. So do you coordinate all the musical arrangements? This is actually my first show doing the vocal arrangements. Um, mostly I've just 
on my roll, sang my song, and sat down somewhere. <laughs> well, speaking of singing your song, Trey Nation has been on the music scene for a while. We've heard you vocally, but now this is your first time acting. So what's your experience been like on A Perfect Lie? Well, Perfect I, Size Lie? Well, I love it. I mean, this is this is the six sixth play that I've done with Bobby and I recently you know just really got into uh, some screen you know uh, acting but yeah, I love it it's, it's amazing it's great it's a little it's very very hectic but in the end it always turns out pretty cool okay so tell us a little bit about your role I know you're a little bit you know bratty you have a little attitude but you know how do you how does your personality natural your natural personality fit with this role or does it even fit at all well that's a good question um, yeah. she's real bougie. I'm, I'm really not that type of person, but um, I play it so well. I don't understand why. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> maybe in another life, I was. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah. Is she like that all the time, guys? No. 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 <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Yeah. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what your role is and what you love about your role. Well, I picked up a Jamaican accent, and I love about it that she just want to work, and she want to stay, want to see the business stay open. So she's going to do whatever she can to keep it open. Gotcha. So, would you ever give this man a chance <laughs> outside of the play? No, I'm just playing. I would have to say not at all. I am so happily married, uh, <laughs> almost 22 years now, to a wonderful, amazing man of God. Amen. Hard to find. Um, but it's been a blessing to work with him. I mean, just an amazing actor. He's, he's got a lot of experience, and that's been a blessing to help me to come along. Okay. Well, I say that because there's always got to be a little drama, you know, <laughs> going on. So we got to see. So how is your, your role here? What do you like about your role? I like the idea that it's so far from what I really am. The last thing I am in this world is suave or with swag. That's the last thing I am and this character has that. Okay, well, awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to speak with Urban Notes and y'all are going to do a little special for us. Was that right? Yes. <clears throat> go ahead, go ahead. Lord, you are my perfect Okay, I um, need somebody to help. <laughs> I'm trying to do this alone. Uh, yeah, yeah, come on. You are watching Urban Nose.